everybody and welcome to Big Oggy World. Welcome to Irish Week. Yep. We are winging this. We are somewhat winging We are, because quite frankly we've been to the supermarket this morning. This is uh, what day? I'm doing the track. This is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. So we're, we're making this now, we're editing it and I'm going to get it out. 14th. Yeah, we're going to get it out this afternoon. Yeah. So Patrick's Day is Friday. It is, we're getting there. We have now planned what we're going to do the rest of the week. Yeah. Probably. Um, but we didn't have one for today, so we're winging it. Yeah. Now, some recipes you may have seen on this channel, or you may have seen on our, our old channel, if you watched from originally a long time a ago. A long time ago, yeah. Um, but that channel's now gone and we didn't keep copies of some of those. This is one of them. Yeah. So today we are going to do... A toasted special. An Irish toasted special. It's a classic in our family anyway, that's for sure. It's a classic in Ireland. I mean, whatever cafe you go into in Ireland, you will always see on the menu Toasted special. Toasted specials. It never says what a toasted special no. is. You have no idea. <laughs> but basically, it's a toasted sandwich. Yep, it is. Which contains ham, yep. cheese, yep. onion, yes. and tomato. And tomato, yes, it does. Um, and that's literally what we're going to do. There may be a few variations for that. You'll probably have a little pile of crisps on the side. Yeah, usually. Uh, coastal, maybe? Mm, mm, that's a bit posh. Yeah, that's a bit maybe posh. I went to posh places. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, but definitely a little pile of crisps on the side. It's always usually on white bread. White bread, yeah, just normal bog standard because white bread. Because brown bread in Ireland tends to be soda bread. Yep. Which is not suitable for It's not really good for soda sandwiches. It's good for soup, it? but not much else, quite frankly. So this is my Your way take of on doing it. Yeah. a toasted special. After in many, many toasted specials, my main problem was that they're, they're a substantial sandwich, and because they're substantial, the bread toasts quicker than the filling melts. Yeah. And I don't like a toasted sandwich with raw cheese in it. Slimy cheese. Well, yeah, it's not it's slimy, it's, it's just raw. It's not quite done, is it's it? It's not cooked, yeah. it's not okay. mashed, you know, it's not melted. So, so this is the way that I do it, which in my opinion, gives you the best all round outcome, okay? So, John looked at me horrified because in all the years that I've been making toasted specials for John, sure, he never realised I don't butter bread. I know, I'm actually showing you plain bread right now. Yeah. And your face. Yeah, see? So this... You, you lied to me, you told me you always I didn't it. tell you anything. Okay, fine. I just served it up and you stuffed it. Simple. Okay, that's true. Two slices of thick white sliced bread. Yeah. Whatever you fancy. Just out your packet. Then, grated cheese. Now there's no measurements for this because this is what you want and what you can get in it, basically. So I always, the piece of bread that is going to be the vessel for the ham, so the bottom piece of bread, I always put a little handful, like that, of no, cheese You carry on bottom. talking to the main camera, but I'm gonna do close-ups all the way through now of what you're doing. So, that is so that when that cheese melts, it sticks the ham to the bread. See, okay. that, that's the old trick with a pavlova, isn't it? What, you use a bit of meringue on the uh, paper to stop it from sliding around. You're using cheese to stop the ham from sliding around. So, a slice of ham, whatever ham you like. Yep. Now, this is where it's down to your own preference. Personally, now, I go for sliced tomato. Okay. Sort of one in each corner, so four slices of tomato. And then I put a tiny bit of salt on because you need to have a little bit of salt on your tomato. Literally, tiny bit because you don't want it to overpower anything. Then, sliced onion. Now you can use white onion, you can use red onion, you can use spring onions if you like, but you need your onion. Um, as much or as little as you like. Slice it quite thinly because you don't want chunks of like you always tend to find the onion isn't particularly soft, it's got a little bit of a crunch bite to it. Yeah. Anyway. So, and we like quite a lot, shape. so yeah. you can see what I've put on there. It's probably about three thin slices of a small red onion. And we tend to use red. I do. I prefer red in sandwiches, but if I didn't have a red onion and I had a white onion and it was that or nothing, I'd put you white in, it wouldn't got. be a problem. You can't beat the cheese and onion sandwiches, one of the best things you'd never get. Right, now the next thing is I'm going to transfer this bit of the sandwich into my grill pan just because when you start moving things around with grated cheese things start falling off and then on the top then you just add your grated cheese 
now it is all going to fall off because you can't avoid it put on whatever you want as much or as little as you like do you always think grated cheese tastes better than sliced cheese i always think it does i think maybe that's a being a kid you know i think in a sandwich like a toasted sandwich or whatever grated cheese is always nicer you sort of get more, I don't know, caramelly bits, if that makes sense. Yeah, when I was growing up, I always thought sandwiches were posh if they were cut in triangles, like four triangles. Because my mum always cut them into squares. My mum always cut them into squares as well, but I always cut triangles, always, because my mum cut squares. Exactly, yeah, I always cut triangles. Yeah, because yeah. I don't really like the crust thing. So if you have a triangle, you've only got one you bit of the crust. You keep the middle the crust. But if you have Accurate. a corner, you've got too much crust then. So this now, it's gonna go under a hot grill, as it is until the cheese melts and the cheese then will sort of dribble down through the onions onto the tomatoes and onto the ham and thus sticking everything together okay. once that is toasted like your your cheese is all melted then we start with the bread but let's get this toasted first i'll show you when i'm ready Yeah, Kelly's now suddenly a bit taller, aren't you? I have to use my stool for the for the grill. <laughs> little little stand-up stool to get into the grill. So we're going to come back when that's melted, but obviously the whole point is to let it go bubbly and get ready for the next bit. Yeah. So as you can see, the cheese is now toasted and it's melted. So now on goes the top slice of bread press it down and now we're going to put it back under the grill to toast the top slice so there's the top toasted now you're going to need to get a spatula and turn your sandwich press it down again now the bottom will cook or toast a lot quicker than the top because it's hot because it's been on the tray. So that goes into toast. Yeah, keep an eye on it now because obviously it took, it took a few minutes for the cheese to melt. Go into a cold grill, but this doesn't take long, does it? And that is done. So, onto your board, pop it the right way up again, and get a good knife, and chop it through. And there, my friends, is a toasted special. So, if you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Do try it, it's well worth the hassle. I know it's a bit of a faff, but it is absolutely delicious. And one of those things that I think once you've had one or two, you don't really go back. That's the true taste of Ireland. Yeah, absolutely. So um, do subscribe if you haven't already. If you know anybody that would like to subscribe, it would be really nice if you could point them our way, that'd be really useful. Um, come over onto Facebook and join us on Big Oggy World over there for lots of chat and pictures and conversations from other people which is really lovely and we will see you all again probably tomorrow so bye for now bye everybody